Hello everyone, uh, my name is Claire Behringer with Behringer Aero. We're here again in our new studio to introduce one of our latest development, which is that beautiful wheel right here. That is an 8-inch wheel uh, with a 27.5-inch tire coming from Aero Classic. <laughs> So why this development? Uh, for bush pilots uh, that fly light sport, there aren't many options for bush tires in the market. Uh, you can have uh, the 26 and 29 inch uh, from Airframes Alaska, uh, uh, Alaskan Bushwheel or Airstrick range. Uh, these tires are really high quality, but they're also very expensive. So for those who are well, tight on the budget, because they are some, uh, you now have a new option on the table. Uh, this tire right here is 50% less expensive than the Airstrick tires. And the assembly is also lighter than a 29 inch uh, assembly. And we'll see a bit later on uh, the specifications of that assembly. Uh, for now, uh, about the video, if you like the video, please do like it. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe to it. If you have any question, please add your comment down the video and put on your notification. Uh, and now we're going to introduce Fabien, uh, uh, one of our engineers, who's going to uh, talk to you about the main technical specificities of that new wheel. So Fabien, now that uh, I've explained uh, why we came up with development, uh, maybe uh, we can talk a little bit more about the manufacturing process uh, because uh, that wheel, uh, I mean, the design is exactly the same as any other Behringer wheel. Yeah. And manufacturing is the same as well, right? Yeah, that's correct, Claire. We All our rims are made the same, so we will see this in the next video, which mm -hmm. would be behind the scenes on how they're manufactured from billet aluminium mm -hmm. and then they're checked, then anodized and then engraved. Mm -hmm. So we will see that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, so yeah, the wheel is CNC machine from a uh, solid billet mm -hmm. and then everything here uh, is assembled by hand by our highly skilled and trained uh, operators to ensure the maximum quality of the products. Claire, so you just spoke about the tiny introduction, so it's a 27 and a half inch. Mm -hmm by 10 width, 10 inch wide, 8 uh, inch inner diameter, which is also the size of the rim. Mm -hmm. So if I buy this, for example, uh, what would going on? Uh, is it bolt on? Do I need to change my brakes or mm -hmm. what do I need to do? So that's the brilliant part about that development is that um, let's say you have a 6 inch wheel right now uh, with a smaller diameter tire or a 26 or 29 inch tire from uh, from uh, Alaskan bush wheels. Well, you can actually use exactly the same brake than on a 6 inch and exactly the same axle. So it really is a plug and play system. You take out your 6 inch rim and you put on the 8 inch rim on the same axle with same brakes. Awesome. What about the, the gain in weight and, and everything? So, like I said, uh, that tire is 50% uh, cheaper than the other options on the table. And in terms of weight of the assembly, so tire plus wheel, uh, it is six pounds lighter than a 29 inch tire from, uh, from Alaskan bush wheel. So, you're going to tell me that, uh, well, it's a smaller tire. Well, yeah, it is a smaller tire, but not that much, actually. Uh, um, we've tested thoroughly uh, at the factory on different airplanes in different configurations. And the behavior of that tire is really good. Uh, it, 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 is, uh, it is comparable to the 29 inch from, uh, from uh, airframes, I get to say. Okay, so like you said, we, we went crazy on this and we tried to actually uh, take the tire off the rim by <laughs> loading it up on the trailer with a 30 degree angle and put maximum side load on it to try mm -hmm. to see the limitation and after many many trials we did not manage to do that so it's it's pretty pretty safe actually yeah so uh, uh, actually we found out that uh, the design and the shape of of the Behringer wheels uh, and especially this one uh, makes it impossible uh, uh, 
and I'm sure some of you are going to try it. Uh, it, is, it is almost impossible to have the tire come off the wheel, even with a crazy high side angle. Uh, we've tried it, uh, and even if uh, the tire bead comes a little bit apart from the wheel, it still holds pressure. Yeah. So you, the tire is not, gonna, is not going to come off. Uh, you're not going to lose pressure. Uh, it, is, it is a little bit on the edge, but... Uh, yes, yeah, that's right. One for the test, I think we went down to 5 PSI, so it is Yeah, it is low. low. It is low in Very pressure. Low. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can you tell us on which machine it's going to go on? So this can go on pretty much any ultralight or light sports uh, that use uh, boost tires. So we are limited uh, by the max static load on this wheel to uh, 1,300 pounds okay. uh, total weight. Uh, so we can go on, you know, just aircraft, Superstall, Highlander, Kit Fox, Zenith, uh, G1, Savannah, any type of light sport with boost tires. Awesome. Right, the good thing is with this 8-inch rim is that you can go with Sensair, actually. Yeah, so uh, Sensair, remember uh, from our la la last video, Sensair can only go on tubeless tires. So uh, since this tire is tubeless, uh, it can go into, uh, you know, onto the rim. It cannot go onto uh, the airstrip or Alaskan bush wheels yeah. since these are not tubeless, it's just a big tube. Exactly. Uh, so, if you want to know more about Sensair, uh, go watch the late, uh, latest video. Uh, it is pretty cool. Yeah, we will put a link somewhere up up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> yes, that's exactly what you said, Claire. It's just the same system as we showed you before, same design, but 8 inch. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Yeah. Uh, remember, if you have any question, uh, put your comment down there and we'll answer within uh, 24 hours. Thank you. Bye-bye.